hello dear creatives how are you doing today welcome to our online tutorial uh, my name is Adela from Aliot by Ruby and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a crinoline base fascinator this is actually quite simple to make okay on like the molded base where you have to use your uh, your stiffener to mold you know and blocking can be kind of messy and stressful a little but if you're just looking for something real fast and simple this is for you here are the materials you'll be needing for this project i have my pleated crinoline right here okay this is not the type of regular crinoline you have because of the lines so it's called a pleated crinoline okay and i have just one yard right here and this yard is about 400 naira per yard or like the regular one that you have like 100 or 150 naira Per yard so this is the other type of crinoline right here and I'm going to be using yellow for my projects okay with a combination of green feather for my embellishments uh, I have my green fabric uh, flower right here I have my needle and my thread make sure you always use a matching thread because you're going to be doing a lot of tacking for this fascinator okay I have my scissors right here and I have my hair comb okay now if you're making for a child you can decide to use a smaller comb but if you're using for an adult you can use a, a wider uh, comb but all the same if you determine if you if you discover that your heart is not so big enough just go ahead and break your comb into two and it will just fit perfectly okay so um the the uh the um how big this fascinator will turn out to determine the hair comb i'm actually going to attach to it i also have my bias right here this is called bias tape and i'm going to be using it to tape the edges of uh, my crinoline so let's get started okay welcome back and i have my crinoline right here so this is going to form my base there are two ways you can make your base from your crinoline you can either fold it into two this way before you use your needle uh, and thread to pleat okay so by the time you are done you have uh like a round base folded at the edges right here or you can decide to open it up this way and when you are pleating make sure you check for the woven parts of your crinoline okay this part is going to be this part is going to be uh in front and this part is going to be pleated okay this is going to be the part that goes in between i'm just going to go ahead and fold this you can go ahead and fold it the way you like but i just want a round uh pleats uh, a round uh, base for this project okay so i'm just pleating it the way i want it to be so make sure you hold it in place gently okay just hold it in place before you tack make sure you have gotten your desired uh, shape for your base before you start tacking okay and tacking basically is just to hold it in place okay so i like it the way it looks this way and i'm just going to go ahead use my needle and my thread to tack it to make sure i secure this ruffle in between okay so i'm going to go ahead and tack this with my needle and thread okay this is quite simple to make you can make this for yourself at home for your uh, little princess dress you know just something very light and can also be used uh, for bridal trains and for weddings so i'm going to go ahead and tag this and when i finish tacking it i will show you how the base looks like all right welcome back dear creatives and this is my base right here okay so i love the way it turned out all right so i'm just going to go ahead and leave the excess thread right here okay now you determine how you want your uh, base to sit on your head if you want it this way then you tack your comb this way okay if you want it this way like you want it to sit on your head like this then you tack your comb this way so i'm going to go ahead and use my bigger uh, hair comb because this base is quite wide enough okay for an adult so i'm going to go ahead and tack it 
down and please do not cut your uh your thread because you're going to use it all through except you don't have a a longer thread then you can just make sure you thread another needle okay so i'm just going to attach it this way now i'm attaching the comb at this point because i just want the comb to sit already so by the time i finish this first layer of my base by the time i'm attaching uh the other layer which is the other quinole right here with my bias uh trimming by the edges it might be a little bit difficult for you to attach your comb at that time okay and as you can see i'm attaching the comb bringing it out in between that's how you have that is why you have a uh, spaces in between the comb this way so you can bring it out okay this way and pull it back right through your base okay and make sure you use a matching color for this project so it does not show at all sometimes i strongly advise you use a fishing line to tack for some of you who wonder why you still have a rough finishing after your work is done you can go ahead and use a fishing line to tack okay so i'm just going to go ahead and tack this through and i'll show you how it looks like when i'm done okay this is how it looks i'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot at the end of my tacking this way okay i'm going to tie this twice just as much as your needle enables you to do so i'm going to cut my excess thread this way and before you cut make sure you secure your thread properly okay and that is exactly what i'm doing don't just cut your thread just like that at the base make sure you tie it the way i'm doing it this way then you are sure that your rope uh, your thread does not come up okay so the reason why it's best for you to tack with needle and thread is for you to secure your comb properly sometimes you might decide to add glue using the candle glue but you discover that after one or two wear the comb comes off and that is not too good for your product okay so this is that about the first layer of my base i'm going to put this aside and i'm going to go to the sewing machine to use my bias tape just to cover the edges of my crinoline okay you can decide to cover cover just one edge but i'm going to go ahead and cover the two edges because of the design i'm going to be making actually it's a bow but i prefer to have my both side of my crinoline uh taped or covered to give it another effect all right so i'm going to go ahead and do this on the sewing machine and i'll show you what to do next